Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. You guys, I have some exciting news. Your girl has officially made 100 sales. Yay! Y'all, I am in such disbelief right now. Oh my gosh, like this journey has been one heck of a ride. I have learned so much about myself, about my capabilities, about stepping out on faith, like what faith means. I'm just learning so much as I'm going. And so if you guys are interested to know what steps I took and the things that you may need, if you're someone who wants to start their business, who's been thinking about it, who already started their business, they can incorporate some of these things that I've been incorporating to help further your business. This is mind blowing. I'm lost for words. I really don't know what to say. I feel overwhelmed with joy. So much joy because I didn't realize that we have the power within ourselves to accomplish the things that we want to do. Like I told you guys in a previous video, I'll make sure to leave the video above on the screen. It starts off with a, with an idea, with a thought. You write it down and you start speaking it into life. You start researching. You start gathering the things that you need, the materials. And then you put in the work. You do your part. Because guess what? Faith without works is dead. So if you have the faith and you put in the work, guess what? It's going to grow. It's going to it's gonna manifest itself. Like... It's amazing. And all you need is faith of a mustard seed. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm gonna try not to get too emotional. But yeah, you guys, your girl has officially made 100 sales. And I started my business. Well, my very first customer was on May 5th. I had one order, my very first order. Shout out to Kevin. Thank you so much for supporting me and helping me along my journey. You guys, I could not have done this by myself. I appreciate everyone that supports me from my mom, uh, my sisters, um, Dan, Cecil, um, who else? If I didn't mention your name, just know that I'm thankful and grateful for you. I'm grateful for my returning customers, y'all. Like this is when you know your product is good, your customer service is good, when you have returning customers. And I have at least a handful of returning customers. So I am humbly appreciative, like y'all. <laughs> Please forgive me if I'm jumping all over the place. I'm just super excited and I just want to let it naturally flow, whatever's on my heart. I hope that this video encourages anyone out there that is thinking about starting their own business, who has started their own business, stay encouraged. I have some notes jotted down that has helped me. These are the things that I've done that I've incorporated into my journey of entrepreneurship. And this is what actually has helped my business flourish. So the first thing, like I always speak about, and I've also made a video, a previous video on this about how I even began to start my business. So it started off with an idea. I was writing down my ideas, writing down like, how did I want to approach my ideas, what direction did I want to take, my audience that I wanted to target, um, and what was the main goal of starting my own business. So my main goal was to help someone out there who has or who had scalp conditions. I, by the way, I am no doctor, but these are ingredients that you can grab at any local grocery store. Um, and you can actually make yourself, but I just wanted to help someone out there who had suffered or who is suffering from dandruff scalp psoriasis. I've dealt with it over a decade. I've seen over three dermatologists and nothing seemed to work. And let me tell y'all, my scalp is in the best condition that it's ever been. And it's been like that going on. I think if I started to see a difference at eight months, I am two years and three months in. So what's that? So you take away eight, then you have four for 12, then you have three, seven. So you have um, seven, 19 months, 19 months, which is a year and um, seven months that I, my scalp has been doing tremendously well. So 
I just want to help anyone out there who's looking to have a healthy scalp, to have healthy strands, to have healthy skin. Um, just overall, you know, you want to you wanna feel your best, you want to look your best. And, and that is just my main goal is for people to feel their best and to look their best. So yeah, it was an idea. I wrote it down. Next, I made sure to put all of my fares in order. First thing I did was I cut back on expenses. Even though I did not start my business, I had to cut back on some things. I started to gather the materials, look at to see what materials that I needed to get started. I designed a website, boom. And you know, I researched to see which website was a better fit for me. So you have Etsy, you have Shopify, you have Wixy. Those are just to name a few, or you can actually design your own website. Um, and that's what I plan on doing in the near future. Wow. Next thing, I know I did this a little later, but I went ahead and got my LLC, Limited Liability Company, which means pretty much it helps protect your personal possessions. And just in case someone decides to sue your company, sue your brand, sue your product, they cannot personally sue you. So I encourage anyone who is starting off with a business to just go ahead and protect yourself, cover yourself, it's very imperative. And on top of that, with all of my products, I still give out a disclaimer. It's important that the two come hand in hand. You cover yourself, but you also give a disclaimer to let people know on your website, you write a disclaimer. When you're selling your product, you make sure you package it in, make sure that it is well known, nothing is misunderstood. Oh. Another thing that was uh, imperative for me to do was to have a positive attitude. For instance, Etsy is a very competitive company. If you ever go on Etsy, you can see like 500 people selling the same product. Like it's very competitive. So yes, you can look at another company and say, man, they have a thousand sales. 10,000 sales, their business is booming. But we also have to remind ourselves that you have to start somewhere. Some people are fortunate where they just take off, but instead of looking at it as competition, which it is competition, also look at it as inspiration. Everybody's journey is different. So stay on task, stay on course. If you wanna look at other people's shops and get some inspiration from their shops, then by all means, because we are all in this together. And another thing, I decided to envision where I wanted my business to go. I remember when it started off with one order here, one order there. Then I was able to move up to maybe, it was like four orders a month. Then it was like two, three orders a week. And sometimes it does fluctuate, but I just wanted to make sure that I had everything that I need and just be prepared, which is gonna tie into preparation, you know, stocking up on your product. So the products that you may sell doesn't have an expiration date. You can go ahead and stock up on that, just have them ready so that when it's time to package and order, you can just put everything together instead of using up more time putting together the items or the product. You already have it prepared. Just also making sure that you print out enough labels, enough cards, just have, just stock up on everything. Make sure you have more than enough. Cause you never know, one day your business may just take off and you wanna be prepared for that. It's nothing like not having the materials and then letting your customers know like, hey, I don't have it, it's gonna take a little while. You, know, you wanna make sure everything is in order so that way it can go, it can run smoothly and that way you'll have a returning customer expectations and i kind of touched on that before about preparing but it's like when it comes to expectations we have in our mind like oh we're going to be busy all the time and yeah there's going to come a time and period where you are hecka busy like i'm talking about orders just coming in like there was one time i was putting together three orders and another order just came in and yeah i could have put together that order the next day but i'm like i'm already doing my orders why not just add this one into it so you're gonna have times like that and then you're gonna have times where you may have one here, one there. Having the expectation of not expecting to have a lot of orders all the time, but also prepare yourself for when you do. Yeah, actually this is the last but not least, goals. In the beginning, I really didn't have any goals, but as I saw that my business was picking up, I wanted to set many goals for myself. Let's just say my goal would be to have in total in a month, 10 sales. I came up short. What I'll do is I would evaluate the analytics and see what I can do differently to bring those sales up. 
So each month I will go back and just kind of review and see what has changed, what is different, what is working, what isn't working. So that way I could better promote my brand, promote my product. So yeah, you guys, these are several tips, several things that I implement into my journey of entrepreneurship and it has been working great. And I am just so excited to see where it's gonna take me to the next level. You know what, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush for the next level because I wanna stay right here for a minute because this is still to me, it's the small things and it's not even small, it's huge to me. I just wanna take a moment and bask in this accomplishment this is a huge milestone for me and like i said i want to thank everyone who has supported me who really loves my product and you know there are some people that may not like it and that's expected not everybody's gonna like everything not everything is for everyone but i appreciate those who really value the quality that i put into my product line so thank you so much guys for tuning in thank you thank you thank you Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and have me a glass of wine because it's time for a celebration. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, if I can do it, you can do it too, okay? So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone who you know has started a business, who wants to start a business. Share this, share this because listen. And then another thing, let's support our melanated people. Let's support black owned businesses, all right? Let's support each other. If we do that, we could get very far. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.